Okay, welcome one, welcome all once again to another episode of Poncho's Paint Booth. Well, I adjust my seating. Uh, so, real quick, just to start off, of course, you're watching this here on YouTube. If you haven't done it already, go down to the corner here, like and subscribe to my page, Multimedia Media. You will get the Poncho's Paint Booth playlist, which is what you're watching right now, uh, including all the videos previous. You will also get the Gutsy Ass Gamer, which is video games and Twitch. And you'll get the video form of my podcast, the Jankity Ass Podcast with me and my buddy Tom right now. At the time of this recording, it might be more people later, hopefully. Who knows? Fingers crossed. You never know. Uh, and also go to, uh, if you go down into the show notes, you'll also see my website for multimedimedia.com. You can go there. You will get links to everything, all the shows and all the major platforms that my podcast is on in audio form, which we're on every major platform and a few other ones in between. So that's going to be like your iTunes, Pandora, Spotify, yada, 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 all those. And then, of course, last but not least, check out Multimerity Media on Instagram and Facebook. You'll get updates to all the shows as they come out. And also, at the time of this recording, I started doing uh, TikToks and Reels for both uh, paint booth videos and gamer videos. So, uh, by the time you see this, I'll have there, there'll be a bunch there. And speaking of seeing this, what we're working on today is another uh, role-playing model. So, not a 40k model. This is just a guy that I grabbed out of the... Uh, the $2 bin at my local store, and that is the Norse Warrior. So we got this guy with a, well, you know what, let's just come down to the workstation and get a better look. So we got uh, this guy, he's not, not exactly a Viking, let me see if I can get a little bit better. Come into focus someday. Maybe. Let's try that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, yeah, now it works. Anyway, so you can kind of see uh, we got, I, I call him the Norse Warrior because, I mean, obviously he was not a script, but he's dressed pretty warmly and he's got a big old two hander sword. So, well, I guess maybe he could be more like a, um, I don't know, a Germanic barbarian or something along those lines. But he's got a big old cape, two-hander sword, a uh, quilted armor underneath, and then there's a little bit of chainmail down in there, as you can see. And he's bareheaded, and he's got the uh, the fur collar. <sighs> Whew. Sorry, it's late, but so what we are going to start off with on this is I want to start working on both the uh, the quilted armor layer, and for that we are going to have a start with a layer of sick green, and that's going to be the uh, the darker base underneath, and then we'll also hit that with. Uh, a layer of the Coelia green shade uh, shade paint which is also kind of like our darker green it'll darken up the uh, the base and also fill in all of the uh, the quilt uh, what you call all these uh, cross hatches that you see in there and that'll give us our nice uh, the darker textures which we'll later add more to and then I also want to go ahead and get the face out of the way. So what we're going to do is that's going to be our cobalt skin paint, which this is it's the uh, the darker flesh tone that I use. So it's it's going to be like a little bit more tanned in the face. And then we'll also hit that with Agrax Earth shade, which is a brown shade, and that'll give us all the nice uh, details in his face. So first I will do. 
the solid paints, starting with the green and then the flesh tone, and then I'll hit it with the uh, the shades. So let's get into it. Doki. It is a humble start for this guy, but a start nonetheless. So, let's see, I'll put these away real quick. So yeah, you can now kind of see what I mean by uh, the quilted armor, the green quilts, and of course the shade brought out the uh, the pattern in there quite nicely. And of course, with everything, I'm gonna dry brush on a different green color in there, and it's gonna it look a bit more weathered, you know, not quite so new-ish. And then, of course, we got a bit of a start on his face, and we'll add in some more details later as we go along. But for now, we'll go ahead and let this dry, and come back soon. Okay, coming back in with my with the Norse warrior after a little while. I haven't touched this guy in a minute. Uh, so, what I'm going to do now, or the next step on this guy is to, I wanna go ahead and finish up the face, or at least the main color of the face. So for that, I'll just dry brush in uh, some corpse pale real quick to uh, basically pull out the nose and the eyebrows and kind of the detail around the mouth. And then, whenever that's done, uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to hit the uh, the undershirt and pants. So basically, that's going to be this. No. Uh, this kind of area right here is pant legs. So basically, under underneath the chainmail and cloak, down to where it meets the boot, the boot, and then his shirt. So you can see at least one sleeve here before his gloves, and then. Just kind of the main shirt underneath. Those areas are going to be done with Drake Tooth. This will be like a nice, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, like a khaki color kind of when I'm done. And then, this one's get, this part's going to suck a little bit, but <clears throat> since he's basically a Viking, kind of, he's going to have a nice yellow blonde hair, which is going to be done with Bay Blonde. And, well, we'll see how this works, because this color has been kind of hard to mix. So it might take me a couple coats, but that's going to be his uh, hair and facial hair down there. So that might take a bit. I might even be able to get that all done in one video. But <clears throat> anyways, we'll start with the corpse pale. Alright, I'm still having problems with this blonde color, or this yellow color. I guess, so I'm going to see if there's any way to mix it up a little bit better. But as you can see, I did up his shirt, and I started on his hair. 
Although, I guess what I could do now for his uh, shirt and pants real quick is we'll go ahead and get some Agrax Earthshade in to put some more detail in this. And then at least this will be dry for when I move on from the hair. So let's just see what this looks like real quick. One second. Try not to have too much dead air. Do, do, do. Almost done. So at least now we got some uh, some detail in the shirt, and then eventually when I come back, I'll do some dry brush work over to bring a little bit of the lighter color back. But we'll go ahead and stop this for now, and I'll probably end up finishing the hair off screen once I get this shit mixed up. So stay tuned. Okay, coming back in with our Norse warrior here. <clears throat> uh, the hair is still kind of funky, but I mean, it's about as good as it's going to get, I think. What I'm going to do now, however, is start to work on some more of the leather elements. And that is going to be, going to do up his cloak, his boots, and his gloves with our fancy oak brown. This is the darkest brown that I have. And uh, let's see, I think I will also, yeah, also got to get in with leather brown, which is the standard medium brown that I've been using. And that's going to go on, uh, he's got like a belt, oh, he's got a couple belts actually. Yeah, he's, got a, he's got a belt where a belt should be, and then he's also, can't really see it that well, but he's got a cross strap that goes from his shoulder to his chest. And that's what the leather brown is going to be, or leather brown is going to be for. I was also going to say the fur up top, but I think I'm going to do that a different color. Maybe more grayish, like a wolf or something like that. So let's see. And there are, oh yeah, there's some other elements I could do. Leather, there's like a scabbard here, and then just these ropes in the back. Or not, not ropes, but more straps. It's like a split belt type of deal. So I'll actually start with the leather brown then, since those elements are underneath. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, <clears throat> got some browns down. Still too much paint, but what can you do? There, so we got some leather straps going on this guy. Still can't find the right spot. There we go. Kind of see it around the belt, especially back here with the scabbard that he's got hanging off of his shoulder or shoulder hip. And then, of course, 
we got uh, this nice big brown cape and his boots. I'm still kind of waiting for some of this to dry off a little bit. So I won't do the wash just yet. But one thing, well, you know, you know what I will do instead while we wait for that to dry is I'm going to go ahead and start working on. So you can see he's got an undershirt of chain mail going there. You can only see a little bit down here and in the back. So we're going to go ahead and do that up with gunmetal. Get that uh, get that started, at least. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Okay. So got some metal down. Again, this thing gave me too much paint, but what can you do? So, chain mail in the front there and in the back. And I went ahead and did up the uh, the buckles that are, there was one on his chest here and then one down in the middle on his belt. And now, brown is dried up enough that I can actually go ahead and put on some Agrax or shade. And that's going on the boots, the belts, and the cape. And the gloves. So, here we go. gonna let this dry off but show you what I did especially noticeable on the cape back here it's a little wet of course but once this dries off you'll see that it'll get the um like the inner folds pretty good and then also on the gloves it really helps the uh, between the fingers to stand out and then, of course, it adds more detail to the belts and all that stuff. So, like I said, we'll let this guy dry off, and then we'll do some dry brushing to bring out even some more details in the cloak and stuff. But so, we'll take a quick break, and we'll come back soon. Are you listening to this show and thinking, man, I'd like to start a podcast, but I don't even know where to start? Well, Buzzsprout has the answers for you. Buzzsprout is a podcast hosting service that provides a number of valuable resources to help you on your podcasting career path. For one, Buzzsprout offers indefinite hosting of all your episodes and allows you to host as much material as you want, depending on the type of subscription that you opt for. Buzzsprout also provides a means for getting your show hosted to every major podcasting platforms such as iTunes, Pandora, Spotify, you name it. In addition, Buzzsprout also provides various means to get your show monetized through various sponsorship and affiliate programs, links to other paid hosting platforms such as Patreon and YouTube, and your own personal newsroom to learn all the tips and tricks for optimizing your podcast for the greatest return on your investment. If you're hearing all this and you're still interested, you can go to my link below and receive an, and receive an Amazon gift card for starting a podcast hosting subscription that you'll receive on the second billing period of your podcast journey. Everyone has something to share and there's no time left to present. Join Buzzsprout today. Okay, continuing on with our warrior. So you can see the browns I have been done and washed. So I'm gonna do a few things next. First, we're gonna go over the uh, all the stuff that we did with the dark brown with. I'm going to dry brush over with leather brown. So that's gonna be the cape. That's gonna get all the edges of the folds and stuff like that. Cape and gloves and boots, not as much. Once I'm finished with that, I'm then going to start with the fur that he has around his, uh, oh, if I can stop hiccuping for a second, all the fur that he has around his collar, 
I had planned to go with kind of kind of more of a gray uh, animal instead of like a like a brown bearish type of thing. So more like a wolf. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a base color of field gray over that area. And then once those two are done, I will add in, if I can find it, here we go. Start in with the null oil. And this is gonna go firstly over the uh, the chain links that I painted up earlier with the gunmetal, and then over uh, the fur color. So starting with the browns, let's see what this looks like. Okay, the uh, the fur, it eh, it didn't quite dry off as much as I wanted to by the time I got to the wash, but it's so small that it's not really a big deal. So first off, as you can see, we added in some nice edging work onto the cape back here. The uh, leather brown really helps the folds stand out. Uh, and then, of course, I added in some gray fur around his collar. And then we filled in that and the chain links with our null oil, which, oh, my screen, there we go. So it, it helps the, uh, on, on the, blah, 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 blah. on the chain mail, it helps uh, the original color standing out by adding in the black fill in the recesses of the links. And then of course the same with the collar. So that helps the kind of like that, the clumps of fur that are modeled in there standing out. And then of course the highlights all, you know, dry brush in a lighter gray later, later as in after this dries off. So we'll come back in a moment. Okay, everybody, what do you say we finish off our Norse warrior once and for all? And by finish off, I don't mean kill, but I mean make him look beautiful. Not that he isn't already. Uh, so there's only really a few things left, a few colors that I'm going to go into. First one, I'm going to go in with our terracotta, our nice uh, standard dark red. And what this is going to go over is a couple things, namely one... The handle of his greatsword, as in, you know, the part that's like all nice and wrapped and stuff like that. And then two, it's going to go on the trim of the uh, the bottom portion of his tunic here. Or kilt, I guess. No, it's not a kilt. It's not quite, but the, the, the trim of his coat, I guess, would be the closest thing. To that so that's going to be red and then we're going to move on to the rest of the sword the uh the hilt and the uh the pommel i think that's the name of it those are going to be done, blah, 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 going to be done with true copper i haven't really used this color much yet the closest thing i've used is the uh, the greedy gold color this is a little bit darker than that even so it's going to be those sections and then for the blade itself it's going to go in with our standard gun metal it's just going to be nice and steel because it well it a it's the same color as the chain mail that i use on the chain mail here and b it makes sense because in uh 
at least fight because this is supposed to be like a Norse guy, but in Viking culture, they didn't really have a lot. Steel was kind of precious, right? So they didn't really embellish with that at all. So yeah, just standard metal. And then we'll get into some washes and we'll go from there. So colors, here we go. Okay, show you some of the colors that we did, the final base colors. Got a nice uh, steel color going on for the sword, as well as the handles done up, and we got this uh, nice uh, dark coppery stuff for the pommel hilt, as I mentioned. And uh, the trim of his coat down here on the bottom. Got the nice bright red, or bright Nice deep red, rich color going on there. So all that's really left to do is some washes. Uh, let's see what I want. Just going to be our two basic washes that I use all the time. That's the uh, Agrax Earthshade is a brown base wash. And Noel Noel is, of course, black based. The Nuln Oil is going to go over the sword blade as that's steel and it's based, uh, for the most part, well, it's going to darken it up a bit, make it look a little bit rougher. And of course, it's going to bring out the uh, um, th the bleeding uh, channel in the middle of the sword by basically just filling that in and giving it some detail. And then, of course, the earth shade is going to go over all the red trim that we did and the copper. Which will kind of, it, it, same effect, basically. And it also kind of blend in the colors a little bit better. So I'll start with the earth shade since I started with the reds. So be real quick, let's see how it looks. Like I said, nice and short. All I really need to do. So you can't. Well, it, it is a little bit hard to see on like the trim and uh, the handle and stuff like that because, for the most part, they are sort of flat features. However, as you can see on the sword, now we got that nice bloodletting channel has been filled in with a uh, a black wash. So that helps the uh, the edges stand out a little bit more, actually, and. Yeah, as far as the copper and the red, like it's still the wash will still uh, darken it up some and make it look more weathered and realistic. So let's just that. And with that, our Norse warrior is finally finished. Whew. Tiring. So let's come back up to me. So again, Norse warrior here for you guys to check out. And speaking of checking out, if you haven't already done so, go to the corner, like and subscribe to Multimedia Media. That's what you're watching here on YouTube. That's my page. You will get this playlist, the Poncho's Paint Booth. You will also get the video format to my podcast, the Jank the Ass Podcast. And look for the Gutsy Ass Gamer playlist. That's a video games and Twitch playthrough. I'm still uh, working on Assassin's Creed Odyssey right now. It's a very long game. It's taking a while. And then, of course, at the end of the episode, you will get links to all my socials. So that's uh, Multimedia Media on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. I don't think the TikTok link's there, but, I mean, it's easy enough to find. And, of course, my website, which also has links to everything, and has the model galleries for uh, all the stuff that I've done on this show, save for, like, the tiny commissions or whatever. 
And I'm actually going to go ahead and take the photos of this guy and put him up there real soon as well. And I still need a new webcam. Whatever. Figure that out later. So, for now, that's it. And, of course, I have a bunch more videos that are just... I, I just That have just been waiting for me to finish this guy. Even. Not even, like, new content, but... Or, well, I mean, it, it'll be... Stay tuned. Keep watching. See you in a bit.